tell me where the headmistress's office is, please? Over here. He's the first door to your right. We're not allowed to go in. Thank you. Hello. Ils ont vu ce qu'elle est belle. Ça nous aide à nous vos preuves. J'espère qu'il est pour nous. Allez, attrape-moi. According to the letter your guardian wrote, I didn't expect you to arrive until next week. Well, I was really very miserable. I had to get away. I see. To be perfectly frank with you, if it weren't for the influence of the minister, I never would have accepted you for this term. It's much too late in the school year to begin. Nevertheless, <laughs> we will alter the rule in your case. You're very kind, madame. Hard work will prove that you're grateful. You're going to begin a new life here, my child. Leave your worries behind. You're safe. And do you mind if I give you a little word of advice? It's true that you come from, uh, you know, a background that's sophisticated. But our girls here, in spite of the airs they try to put on, are really very, very innocent. <laughs> Did you invite a big group? Oh, why, everyone's coming, including a lot of boys. Did you ask Alfred? Especially for you, Jenny. <laughs> Wonderful. You can neck in the garden all you want, as usual. <laughs> Next weekend, I'll be with my parents. I won't be able to go to the party. Oh, come on. It's important you attend. Now, be nice, for friendship's sake. Oh, friendship doesn't mean a thing to you when boys are involved. Oh. Only Monica's a true friend. She's just scared of boys. Isn't that true? Boys don't interest me. Boys have no nerve. They wouldn't dare. If you were a little thinner, they would dare. <laughs> oh. They're not very bright, really. Exactly. At least they know what they want. They have no respect for your feelings. They get angry if you love someone else. All she talks about is Marlon Brando. That's not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> My wish is that the one I love will want me as well. It's that simple. L'amour, toujours l'amour. Love is all that interests you. Hey, what's the matter with you? Jealous? You're the girl, only one. Girl. You know it's not allowed to wander off during recess, now, don't you? I want you to go and join the other girls immediately. Well, now. All we have to do is get you a simpler hairdo and everything will be just fine. All right. You can leave that. The laundress will pick it up. Come with me. Madame Anselm wants to introduce you to your classmate. There's no one, it's Mama. Adé, I'm afraid. If you don't want to go, you don't want to go. You don't want to go to the yard. Dis donc, t'as vu les nylons s'ils sont fins Maman, on a doucé bien. Oh, vive-moi ça. Jacqueline. Maman aussi, elle va quelquefois chez elle. Hum? Elle fera bien d'y aller plus souvent. Et ce parfum, du carven, tu te rends compte Maman aussi, elle en a... Ah non, alors. Pour le parfum, tu repasseras. Ta mère, elle pue la fleur d'oranger. Oh, ça y est, le dîner, on va s'apercevoir qu'on n'est pas là. <rire> Pauvre idiote. Tu me prends pour une enfant de Marie, tu vas voir. Alors, mademoiselle, dépêchez-vous. Now, 
Now this will be your place. Please be seated, children. I don't want to interfere with your meal. This is Catherine Royer, your new classmate. And this is Martha Chevalier, the school's best student. Hello. Hello. Be seated. The others will introduce themselves. Monica. Anne Marie. Well, well, what's the meaning of all this? Have you all decided to go on a diet? <laughs> come, come, no more interruptions. You better get back to your hot soup before it gets cold. Some for you? Yeah. How about some for you? No, thanks. I'm lonesome. Well, are you puzzled? We ought to tell her why. We only get one guess. <laughs> Who's on her mind? Marlon Brando. Brando! That's me. Why are you all making fun? I have a right to be in love. Even if there's no hope now. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's too bad. Poor Marlon. I'm sure if he knew that your little heart was palpitating, <laughs> he'd take a plane right over to see you. What did I say? Let's stop it. We're all new to it. Please stop crying. Whatever it is you're thinking now. Now, I want you all to keep your pajamas on. Remember, that's the rule. <laughs> Quiet. Madame Anselin has told me of the trouble you had before you came here to Vallon. If you should ever become depressed, please call on me. You're very kind. Sleep well. Je redoublerai l'attention, madame la directrice, vous pouvez être tranquille.
Charlotte. Thanks. Lisa, a piece of candy? Mm hmm They're good. Mm. Oh, how well he looks up mm. there. He sure does, but I prefer the other one. You're right. He looks more intelligent. Mm. He's beautiful. Love must be wonderful. Mm. I've never been. What do you do first? Mm. Nothing. Nothing at all. It'll happen all by itself. Like the flu. No warning. You just get sick. <gasps> That's the trouble. I'm too strong. Mm, it's possible. You're very lucky. Mm, don't believe that. It's unbearable. You can't imagine how it hurts. Yes, but pain gives joy, isn't it true? Mm. It's true. Shh, shh. Oh, all right. They have no sense. Mm. There's a rule about sleeping nude. Oh, Pooh. They should have a rule, I think, about perspiring to death. I never slept in anything at all before, until I came here. You better not get caught. I won't. I'll have them back on before we get out. You better. From the very first time I saw you this afternoon, looking so lonely, I became aware of a new feeling inside of me. Just like every other evening, Martha has given me her hand to say goodnight. But tonight, Catherine, I would have preferred it to be your hand that I'm holding, so that you'd know you're not alone anymore. You are not asleep. I could feel your wide eyes open in the darkness. What memories are you bringing back? What regrets? You are so beautiful, my dear Catherine. Both your face and your body have such lovely line and form that you seem to lend your beauty to whatever you come in contact with. Can I borrow your eraser? Thanks. Oh, that's lovely. You think so? Oh, yes. Now then, do you all understand the known quantities of the problem? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. You have ten minutes in which to get the solution. Begin. Why can't I go with you, Catherine, far away from this class in this dreary school, into the delicate world of your memories? But alas, it is these memories that separate us more than anything else. Not that you're unfriendly. On the contrary, you have a kind and sweet word for everyone. Nevertheless, you are guarded. There is an area in your background into which no one is permitted to go. Not even Miss Letelier, who thinks she knows you because you are obliging enough to listen to her. But Sunday is visiting day for parents. Perhaps when I see yours, Catherine, 
I'll know whom you are thinking of. time away from your work? Yes, unfortunately, I did. Your mother couldn't make it, though. Are your friends ready? Yes, yes, Good. they're all coming. There's Audrey, Betty, Monica, and maybe Martha. So many. I'm going to feel as if I had a harem. Come on, I'd like to get out of here right away. Hello! That won't be as easy as you thought. This isn't my day. Hello! How are you, Madam Anselin? It's a pleasure to see you. A pleasure you don't often see to be afforded. You promise you'll visit us much more often. Well, promises are like beautiful women. You can't count on them very well. You don't need that, I'm sure. No, but it sounds sophisticated. In that case, I won't hire you as a teacher of morals. <laughs> Instead, why don't you come in and judge the paintings of the students? It'll be quite a treat to have the opinion of the master. <laughs> of course, a pleasure. Are you expecting anyone? No, no one. Not a soul. Oh, that's a shame. But don't feel bad. Thank you, Monica. I won't go with Anne-Marie. We'll spend the day together. You're very sweet. But I don't mind being by myself. It was a lovely thought. Now, you go on to the party. Not alone. Don't you think this one shows extraordinary talent that you take a course in oil painting? Oh. I think she should really take a course in needlework. Oh. oh, you mustn't be cruel. Then you didn't mean it. No, I really didn't mean it. What's over there? Ah, that one isn't bad. Well, she has no technique, but a very good sense of color, an unusual sensitivity, and a, a strange way of expressing herself. For a child. She's a very sweet little child. I oh, yes? I'll get her. Oh, no, 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 no. In a little while. That'll be never. <laughs> she has no respect anymore. Do you mind? Just between us, no. Catherine! What's she want? Can't imagine. Come here! You're right. Catherine Royer, I'd like you to meet my stepfather. How do you do? For once, you had a good idea. I'm pleased, very pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Royer. I've known you a long time. Huh? I attended the opening of your last show. Well, charming as she is intelligent. My compliments. Hello, Mr. Brenner. Ah, how are you, Monica? Catherine. Mr. Brenner noticed your watercolor. He was very excited. Nice? Oh, I don't deserve it. The thought just occurred to me that I would like it very much if you would sit for a portrait. You're lucky. He never offered to do mine. You're already the portrait of your mother, so it isn't worth the trouble. No, seriously, the first Sunday that you're free. But Catherine's like me. She's always free Sunday. Really? Then why not right now? You'll be there for the party. Since Monday's a holiday, you can stay overnight, and I'll bring you back along with your friends. I don't know. Go get your things together, Catherine. You can use a holiday. I'll help you. You're really awfully good, Mr. Brett. It's Brett. really nothing. The pleasure's all mine. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye. You know, I think she really is charming, this Miss Royer. Oh, really? Well, that was pretty obvious. First, you didn't want to meet her, and now you act like a schoolboy. Oh, well, that's what I am. I'd like it. 
drink. Didn't Helen get home yet? I can't find her. No. And on her sister's birthday, you think she'd make a special effort to get here from Venice, but no attempt. Oh, you're just... Weird. Those girls do not have an ounce of respect. And look at the table. A fine buffet. There aren't any more glasses, no more cake, no more wine. It's ridiculous. Monica, darling, would you be a dear girl and do something with this buffet? And tell your friend Catherine to dance with someone, circulate around with people. This is a party, Edward. Who is this girl, Catherine? I haven't been introduced yet. Schopenhauer was the same. He was never clear on that point. Oh, yes, I agree with yes, you. Yes, Well, Catherine, are you having a good time? Oh, yes, indeed. No, I've never seen anyone so bored in my whole life. Who's your friend? So intellectual. Why don't we take advantage of this commotion and try to do a little work, huh? All right. I think I'm really in the mood. Follow me. Hello there. Hello, dear. Here, Edward. Hungry? Well, these are my masterpieces. The work of a fashionable painter. I see you don't approve of them. Oh, but oh, I Oh, that's do... all right. I know they're not very good. It's a living. When I was just a student, I wanted to be the second Rembrandt. Then, like so many, I settled for a life of luxury. But you're a new inspiration. But why? Because you're so very unusual. You don't you... even know me. Oh, yes, I do. You remind me of someone I never knew. Someone I should have known 20 years ago when I was a young art student. Oh, well, I wasn't that fortunate. I sometimes think if I had met her, my life would be different now. <laughs> What's so funny? You've heard this line before? Oh, yes. You have? Oh, well, I guess it is pretty old. For you, I'll have to think up one that's different. All right. Oh, no, no, not there. Over here. Now, don't worry about posing. Would you like something to hold? A magazine, a cigarette? Ah, uh, no. You don't? No. How about flowers? Oh. Huh? Let's see now. This looks like a pretty one. There. Remember, you can move. You're not at the photographer's, you know. Our little chat needn't stop. I hope I'm artist enough to capture you. Really. I don't believe you've ever seen me, really. That's quite true. I haven't been seeing you. I'm just looking. Oh, you amuse yourself with words. Well, that's the trouble. That's all I really do well. By the way, when I asked you to sit for a portrait today, what did you think? Thought you were a painter, no? Oh, yes, of course, obviously. But are you sure you didn't say to yourself that here is a silly old fool who's trying desperately to recapture his youth? Many people keep their youth. You have. And, well, what's more, you're really quite aware of it. Isn't that right? Oh, well, again, the wrong line. Please, everybody, I have something to announce. Dean has kindly consented to give us the pleasure of listening to his new concerto. What do you call it? I don't know. And to whom have you dedicated it? I... It's quite obvious you don't know that either. Oh, well. Fortunately, you remember to bring along your talent. Come, get to the piano. Be seated, all of you. Now, let's all be quiet. <laughs> Suffering? Along with the others. <laughs> You know, I don't offer to do portraits of every woman. Oh, a blessing indeed. You do nothing but work. Oh, come now. Can't I ever get the last word with you? You must have more respect for my white hair. Why must you always talk about your age? Do you realize, were I ten years younger, I could look at you and say, this I want, and do my best to woo you. Mm, that wouldn't solve anything. I could always reject you. You know, you're very cruel. The world's a cruel place. That's right. But you're too young to know that. How pretty that is. Oh, well, it's not finished, but uh, it's nice of you to say. I wasn't referring to the painting, the music. What's that? Well, now I have to compete with what I can't even see. <laughs> That's really too much.
did you do it? Well, last night. I couldn't go to sleep without seeing you, so I finished your portrait. Oh, it's marvelous. And you really did it only for... Only for memory, I assure you. You should feel the pride. It's true. You give it life. You seem to know all about me. It's odd. Please don't think I can only make jokes with you. Really. We clowns have a great deal of insight. But I hope I'll be able to give you... warmth and... friendship, too. You're a real friend. You're... you're just marvelous. Oh, for heaven's sake, there you are. I've been looking for you. Catherine, how nice to see you. Oh, yes, we're Good here. Good morning. That's really very pretty. You're a very good influence on him. This is the first decent piece of work I've seen him do all summer long. From now on, I'll only paint for myself. I don't care what you do from now on, but you shouldn't forget how a host should behave. Oh. But I'm not... I know that you're too well brought up to say anything about it. But can't you see that she's anxious to go out and join her friends? It's quite all right of you. Now, your friends are all wondering where you are. They're waiting on the lawn. <laughs> Run along, dear. And you are looking a little ridiculous. What does that mean? <laughs> Just look at you. You were rejected. That portrait routine's old-fashioned. You have to find a new technique. It just won't work, Christian. You have a very odd sense of humor. I need it to love you. Where's Catherine today? Oh, she's probably someplace where it's quiet. She's very sensitive, that one. Marvelous girl. There's something about Catherine that... that makes being near her exciting. I know what you mean. I'll bet he's talking to her about Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Monica lost her dean. Hey, wait. Do you hear? Mm-hmm. I think it's Catherine who's playing. Well, that amazes me. She only heard the piece just once. That's true. She's a musician. Now you don't say. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Chopin. He sure left you in a hurry. That's not, darling. You'll get used to it. Long live l'amour. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. you. Oh, please. Go on with it. It's all right. Oh, I wouldn't dare. I'm afraid I don't play very well. But that's not true. You were improvising a very nice variation. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Do you mind? No, please. Mm, now it's Dean who's playing. Oh, isn't it sweet? They must be holding hands. Mm-hmm. Playing with their feet. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Anne Marie, isn't that your sister? Oh, yes, it's Helen. Mmm, Helen means trouble. This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, it's about 
Only one day late, and it brought you something beautiful. Yes, but since it was your sister's birthday, you could have made an effort. I was invited to a masquerade by the Prince of Cheyenne. Everyone went. Is that Dean at the piano? He's been here all week. Ah, oh, I guess you forgot he was one of the house guests. When they asked me who I'd written this for, I couldn't think of anyone. But now I can. Surprise? It's me. How are you, darling? Are you well? Oh, yes. Sure. How was Venice? Awful. I missed you. <clears throat> Let me introduce Miss Catherine Royer, uh, Helen Brenner. should have seen my sister Helen. Is she mad? Well, I think it was just terrible of Catherine to try to steal her fiancé. Fiancé? <laughs> That's how much you know. She wouldn't be brokenhearted. She just had a wonderful trip to Venice. I want you all to pay attention. The test must be completed in ten minutes. Finished already? Yes. All right, you may leave. Piece of fudge. Pass them over. All right. I want quiet in the class. I guess what Catherine is, is sexy. You should have seen the way she attracted all the men there. Oh, why, well, that's the easiest thing in the world. Anyone could if they wanted to. But I never dreamed. You thought of boys, too. Is that so? Catherine's a very reserved girl. I think Catherine and Dean together are really wonderful. Why are you all so crazy about this girl? All she does is cause trouble. Miss Chevalier, I will not tolerate this disturbance. You're annoying the classroom. This goes against you, you know, on your record. Miss Mercier, I'm done. Very well, you may leave. Hey, look, Monica's finished. Hurrying to Catherine. Good night, Catherine. I'm thinking of you as I do every night.
bien, ça dépendra. Je te flanquerai une voie de main à la première récréation. Oh non, Athé, je te jure que je ne ferai plus. Le truc de la somnambule, il est à moi, t'as compris you been all the while? I have a message to give you from Dean. Dean? Right. He wants you to be sure to accept when you're invited to our place for this weekend. Isn't that a nice surprise? Oh, yes. Do you have any white? Sorry. Monica, lend me your wife. Thanks. <gasps> it wet you. Are you drowned? No, I can swim. One minute. Salt in your soup, Catherine? Fine. Catherine Royer. Are you by any chance related to the great banker Joshua Royer? Yes, I am. I thought so. You never told us. But I knew you were from a good family. There's no doubt about it. It's apparent. Isn't that true? I suppose that's a dig. I meant it just for you. Monsieur Valier, sit down. You were making a great play for Dean. It's obvious why. What are you saying, really? Well, for the daughter of a swindler who committed suicide, getting Dean would certainly be a great coup. <coughs> you... Take that back. I won't take back a word I said. I've called you together today because this is the first time in the history of Le Vernon that such an incident has occurred. We have decided not to expel Martha Chevalier, but that is because of her very excellent scholastic standing and also because she has expressed a sincere wish to come here and make a public apology. As you can see, 
I want you all to know that before any student is accepted at Le Ballon, a very thorough investigation is made of her family. So you may be assured that Catherine Royer's father was a fine, honest man. He unfortunately fell into the hands of an unscrupulous combine, and his death in an automobile was purely accidental. Now that everything's out in the open, you should all be doubly kind and understanding with your classmate. I know you will. Catherine Royer, please come here. Up here, please. Martha Chevalier, repeat after me. My dear Catherine. My dear Catherine. Oh, please, madame. No apology. Oh, I'm afraid I insist on this point. Since the quarrel was in public, the reconciliation should be the same. Only then will it really be over. Martha, I wasn't mad at you. Nothing serious, madame. She'll be back in her own bed tomorrow night. Bye. Bye. Bye, Monica. Bye. Goodbye. Will you forgive me? But I scratched your face. I don't Now, mean. let's all forget this terrible incident. Pretend it never happened. Good night, Monica. Good night, madame. Sleep well. Do you love me? Why, of course. Tonight, we're going to be separated. Oh, it's just for this one night. Yes. And we'll be at Anne Marie's Sunday. No. I won't be there. But why? Over Dean? You won't? I'd rather not. I'm sure that you can understand why. Yeah. Well, I still wish she would have come. Well, I have something to tell you. Would you like to know where she is? Would I? Where? Madame Anselin said she could go to the movies, and she's at the Rex Theater right now. Ah, oh, you're the most wonderful girl in the world. Thanks. day today. Why are we sitting here talking about it? <laughs> well, you have to admit this beats staying at the movies, even though I may not exactly be Cary Grant. What's the difference? I'm not Sophia Loren. <laughs> <laughs> what fun. We're acting like fools. Oh, it's exactly what we both needed. To let off a little steam. You have no idea how bad I felt when you didn't show up with the girls. 
I was afraid you wouldn't see me again. How was I to know you were on the verge of breaking up with Helen? Oh, you and I were only alone for a minute or two. You couldn't expect to learn all my deep secrets. Hope she's not too unhappy. Oh, you have to be able to love to be able to suffer, really. Mm. I know very well what suffering is. Ah, you can love then, too. Where does it all lead? Oh, who knows? <laughs> Something's the matter. Huh? Hear that? That's a beautiful mechanism. <laughs> Not when it's broken. Ah, these English cars are a little complicated. But just take a look at that engine. They're worth the trouble. And you're very lucky you found me. You know, I can fix them all. Huh? Even the English ones. Ah, she spoke. <laughs> what language? Oh, you're joking. Go out and have a drink, and I'll fix this up as good as new. When I'm on the job, no one has ever had to take the train back. Never. <laughs> This train was so sad. The first time I came to Vellon on it, I was all alone. It was nothing like this. You won't be lonely again. Thanks to you, Dean. I'm so happy now. I want to go around kissing everyone. <laughs> you will kindly concentrate on me. You know, the next time the two of us take a train together, Catherine, we'll be traveling on our honeymoon. This has really been such a wonderful day. I'm sorry it's had to come to an end. See you next weekend? Have you any doubt? Maybe. <laughs> you know I'm your slave. sure have nerve. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. No one checks up on us underneath the covers. And I sleep much better. Does it really make a big difference? Like swimming with nothing on? It's better. Go on. Try it. Oh, it isn't right. Go on. Nothing ever happened to me. Go ahead, Danny. Good night, Catherine. Dear Catherine. I'm so happy that you and Dean, the two people to whom I've given my heart, can find a marvelous love together. I love you enough, I believe, not to think of myself too much. And my happiness will be to share with you what I read in your eyes after each one of your meetings with Dean, after each letter that you receive from him. I had been sure you were a girl who could be trusted. But this letter proves I was wrong. Well, what will you do? My dear, I won't do a thing. If you promise you'll never see him. We're to be married. I'm sure his intentions are honorable. But I'm not the one to approve it. I just spoke to your aunt on the phone. It was my duty to do it. She forbids you to see this young composer, who she feels has no future. By what right? She's your guardian, and you're underage. But I've got to see him. Surely you know I have to follow your aunt's instructions, don't you, Catherine? You must not see him. I want you to give me your word. No, I won't promise. I'd break it. I admire your honesty. But now you understand there are certain measures I have to take. Whatever I do, Catherine, is only to protect you. 
Now, try to stop crying. Did you know Catherine was being taken out of the dormitory? I know. They're putting her in a room, right in the teacher's quarters. She's going to be locked up every night, just like a criminal. Even talking's forbidden. I'd sure love to know who turned in the letters. Mm. Oh, I hope you don't suspect me. Do you have proof? But I didn't even know about the letters. That's oh. so? Then you were the only one. Oh, why do you all hate me? Martha Chevalier. No more outbursts in the dining hall. <laughs> Do you know that they're going to take our night monitor, Miss Letelier, away? And Miss Mercier is going to replace her. <laughs> That's going to be fun. That's right. I want silence. Shh. Is anything the matter? No, madame. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Everything's fine. Good night. Sit up and let me see what you're wearing. But it's too cold. Never mind. Take down the covers. Where are your pajama tops? Uh, well, they got lost. Well, they can just get found this instant. <laughs> I'm going to report this entire incident to Madame Anselin first thing in the morning. Young lady, you'll be on restriction for a week. I can assure you of that. Oh, I'm just getting used to it. I'm sorry you got caught. Oh, well, things could be worse. Imagine poor Catherine. Alone every night. It won't be forever. If you want anything at all, my dear, please call me at once. The wall between our rooms is very thin, and I'm a terribly light sleeper. You're very nice. Now try and smile, my dear little Catherine. And remember, I'm your friend. I know you're my friend. And I'm glad. Sleep well. I will. Good night. week she's been in charge, there hasn't been a thing we've been able to get away with. And stop stuffing yourself with candy. My gosh, now she has radar. Have one? Oh, thanks. I'm worried about how Monica will manage to see Catherine. Never mind. You know, it's my turn on duty. You watch. Hey, listen, everybody. Watch Sally. Miss Mercier. What is it? I feel sick. I'll be right out. Oh. Oh. What's the matter? Stomach feels bad. I. Shh. Are you sure what you have is a oh, stomach yes. ache? Inside. Now, don't wake everybody up. I'm going to go and get some medicine. Right. Hurry, Monica. There's not much time. All right, just a minute. It's Monica. My dear little Monica. I'm really so miserable. Tell me. Did you see Dean yesterday? Yes. He's awful. Was there no letter for me? No, he says he couldn't write. It was all his fault. But that's not so. Oh, why doesn't he write? 
You mustn't feel bad. He can try and see your aunt. Maybe through Mrs. Anselin. My aunt hates me. She'll never agree. Well, just the same. He's got to be with you. You must get away. Here now, you drink this down. By tomorrow, you'll be perfectly all right. Uh, this works on my stomach ache like a charm. Good night, my dear. Good night, ma'am. And thank you very much. Now, how's Monica going to get back in the dormitory? It's Anne Marie's turn. In exactly seven minutes, I'll have a stomach ache. Violet! There it is. Oh, good. Come you on, keep going. This will never do. You should be prompt. Your assignment was the computation of the volume of a sphere. I hope you all know it. You, Sally Picard, to the board. You compute it by the radius R multiplied by the formula, which shows how. What's the matter with you? Palpitations, Mademoiselle. Oh? <gasps> Rapid. Don't be so emotional. It's just a problem. Yeah, I suppose. Come on, finish it up. We have to continue now. Well, you know... What? I forgot the solution. Ah, now the truth. A demerit for you. Et bien, mes enfants, à la première classe, je vous ai parlé du règne de Clovis. Clovis fut un roi victorieux. Il a tout d'abord gagné... Le vase de Soissons. Mais non, pas le vase de Soissons. Ne riez pas avec moi, s'il vous plaît. Pas le vase, voyons la bataille. Il a en outre remporté beaucoup d'autres victoires. Entre autres, la célèbre bataille de... de... Voyons, vous ne vous souvenez pas La bataille de... Tol... Tol... Tolga Voilà, c'est vieux. Tenez, Adélaïde, vous qui êtes forte en histoire, racontez-moi la bataille de Tolga. Clovis était sur le point... De perdre la victoire. Mais qu'est-ce que vous avez, mon enfant Je ne sais pas, mademoiselle. Mais qu'est-ce qu'il y a Je suis émue. Je suis émue.
there. Could be appendicitis. Oh, do you think so? I don't know. You've the same pain in the same place every night. That's true. Ow! Oh! You wake up, everyone. Oh, I can't help it. I'm oh. taking you to the infirmary. Oh. Oh. And if you don't get better, oh. we'll send for the doctor. Oh, it hurts so much. Come, let's go. Here, no, this way. Oh, poor Adele. Poor darling. No. Oh, over this way. Oh, no. Be careful. Watch out. She'll run and get Anselin. That's trouble. Yeah. Hey, put your pajamas on or we'll be in trouble over you. doing? I'm worried. What's happening? I don't know. Are you all right? Does it hurt? Ah! Hurry. I'm sure that noise woke everyone up. Poor Monica. I'm afraid she's going to be caught. Well, it's all things. We got to do something. Oh, but what? Yeah. Know. Get started. What? Getting sick again. No more. Why don't you? Oh, they wouldn't believe me. I'm much too fat. Ask Anne Marie. Anne Marie. What? Would you do the sick act again? You're so convincing. All right, fine. But this is not easy on the stomach. Goodbye. I'll never forget what you've done.
Hey, look at this. Is this table free? Yes, miss. Don't bother. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Well? Oh, a little cognac as usual. I'll have another cognac. Have you seen Dean? He's not coming. Why? If you'll just listen. I'll try to explain. What is it? I'm afraid he's not in love with me. You couldn't be further from the truth. Before he sees you, he wants to have your aunt's consent. Oh, that's hopeless. You must remember this, Catherine. You're a minor. Suppose you two went off together. They could easily find you. And you know the rest. Not very pleasant. He should have been the one to come. He tried, but I stopped him. But why? If he'd come, you wouldn't have gone back to school tonight. Which is exactly where I'm taking you right now. No. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm miserable there. I won't go back to that prison cell. Oh. Uh, see? Imagine if he were here now. Take this. You know, Catherine, it's difficult enough for me, and I'm much older. Oh. He never would have had the courage to send you back. Try not to hate me. Oh. Enough. If you're serious, and wouldn't you rather wait to get your aunt's consent? I want to help you. Both of you. Open up. It's Mr. Brenner. Huh? It's Mr. Brenner. What can I do for you, Mr. Brenner? Here. Oh, you haven't seen anything, right? Oh, I recognize no one at this time of night without my glasses on. <laughs> hey, come on. You'll see. Everything will turn out all right. Bye. Come over here. We all Romeos have to stick together now. Isn't that right? Absolutely. You know, I used to be quite a ladies' man myself at one time. Yeah. Live and let live. That's always been my motto. matter anymore. I'm so miserable. So please, go. What did you say? I must be alone. Won't you please try to see? Now, let's go. Sleep well. Hello? 
always be here. Smile. I'll try. Good night. Right, that'll be all for today, Catherine. No improvement in these two weeks. Her morale is very low. She doesn't want to get well as far as I can see. I'm powerless to do anything in the way of letting her see this young composer. She's allowed to see all her friends. I mean, those here at school. Tuesday, I wrote the aunt, asking her to let Dean visit Catherine. No answer. He's here every day. Well, I may have to assume the responsibility and allow him in the next time he comes to see her. I would certainly do that. Anybody but me. Maybe next time. Yes. Why won't you see anyone but Monica? Here's another letter from Miss Catherine. Will you deliver it? Yes, I will. Too bad she won't answer these letters. She's going away tonight. It's a shame. Right. There, now you'll be more comfortable. Ah. I'll leave her in your hands for a moment. I'll be right back. Hello, Catherine. You're wonderful to visit every day. All the others have forgotten me. Oh, but they sent you a kiss. Mm. I'm glad that they don't come. I'm sure they just tire you out. Oh, what's the difference? How's your arm doing? Oh, fine. Oh, I'm relieved. It was all because of me, dear Monica. I wonder what's new with Dean. Oh, not very much. He's giving a concert next week. I've been hoping for a letter. I should forget about it. I've just been a terrible fool. What shall I do? Try to forget it, you must. <gasps> I'm so unhappy. Dean's not to blame. He's under the influence of Christian. I wish I could forget him. It just seemed like one of those loves that never would end. Please stop all that. Oh, what? Have you forgotten? You have me? Of course, Monica. You're my dearest friend. My dear, I hope that we'll always be this way. If I could just be with him once more. Won't you ever forget? No, I won't. What is it? Oh. 
Well, I'm always with you. And you don't even know I'm alive. I just can't stand it. I can't. Monica, dear, please don't cry. It's about time Catherine's aunt answered my letter. It's good news. She's agreed to meet us any time. Seems all she was afraid of was that you were after Catherine's money. Well, since I've assured her that you are bordering on huge success, she'll cooperate. Well, I was right again. I'm not so sure. I'm afraid Catherine's through with me. Huh? She won't answer my letters. What do you think that means? I should have showed up that night. It wasn't your place. You would have ruined everything. Yes, well, it's all ruined just the same. Supposing we were sent to prison for running away. At least we'd still be in love with one another. Oh, bravo. Magnificent. And now, how about coming down and giving a little thought to your music? I'm perfectly calm. Ah, you're right. Excuse me, sir. If you don't mind, it's time now for the interview for the television audience. All right. Well, I'm leaving now. Good luck, Dean. Oh, thanks. All right. Ready. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are happy to introduce you to a new and talented composer tonight, Dean Moriel, who will be playing his own concerto. You're very kind. And now, before we begin, won't you tell us about your new work? Well, all I'd like to say is this concerto is dedicated to someone I love very much. To someone I hope will be watching this evening. Then we listen with still further interest. And now, Mr. Moriel, Catherine. it's time for the concerto to begin. Oh, oh Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Beautiful. What? Oh. Very beautiful. Oh, yeah. Close the window? No, it's fine. How about a warm drink? It'll help you to go to sleep. Yes, would you please? Good. Do you miss your girl? That's enough. Such a pity she can't be with us to hear the concert. It's for her that he's playing. Get out! You ought to be nice to me. Watch what you say. I know where Dean's letters have been going. I'll kill you! Do you believe that? Yes. I know what it is to feel that way. I'm jealous too, Monica. You know, thanks to you, Catherine's been made as miserable as I wanted her to feel.
never forgive me. But why? All this time I've lied about Dean. You mean? He's never stopped loving you for a single minute. Are you sure? Here are his letters. This is wonderful. Everything's all right. Oh, madame. It's awful. What I've done. I'm feeling so ashamed. There's no need to tell me anything. It couldn't have been anything really bad. I'm used to loves and hatreds among you girls. They're not forever. Now don't you cry over the few years you're here at Valon are really just a short prologue to your life out there. Before you become the wives and mothers you will be, you are these mysterious, secreted little twilight girls. No longer children, but not yet women. <laughs>